battle royal, Tea Party and fiscal conservatives duking it out with social conservatives for the heart and soul of the GOP. Joining me, Wendy Wright, president of Concerned Women for America, and Jimmy LaSalvia is executive director of Go Proud, which represents gay conservatives. Welcome to both of you, little Wendy out here. Thank you for coming. If I can, Jimmy, I want to read a little of the letter that your organization and some Tea Partiers sent to both Mitch McConnell and to John Boehner. I'm quoting here. Poll after poll confirms that the Tea Party's laser focus on issues of economic freedom and limited government resonated with the American people on Election Day. We urge you to stay focused on the issues that got you and your colleagues elected and to resist um, the urge to run down any social issue rabbit holes in order to appease the special interests. What's your concern there? Well, I think a lot of us remember what happened the last time Republicans were in control of Congress. And, you know, Wendy and her group and the rest of the Washington establishment would like us to go back to that when, when you know, we saw hearings on Terry Schiavo and banning gay marriage and, you know, Janet Jackson's boob. I mean, those were the kinds of things that took up the time. And, and I think that we need to remind the new members of Congress why they were sent here. And they were here to cut the spending, cut the taxes, repeal Obamacare, and keep us safe from the bad guys. And, and we just want, want them to stay on that path. Well, Wendy, is that the message of this election? The economy and anything else, frankly, is, is at least a, a distant second. Now, 52 percent of Tea Partiers are social conservative evangelicals. Two-thirds of Tea Partiers want to outlaw abortion, and 82 percent of Tea Partiers oppose same-sex marriage. And look at the people who are voted into, also, into office, like the rock stars like Marco Rubio. They are pro-life and they are pro-marriage. So uh, the message is clear from this election that, yes, we want uh, 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 politicians who recognize that uh, the, the serious moral decline in our country is a great threat. And, in fact, but a poll you, of the... If you're going to bring up names, I mean, you could also bring up uh, Sharon, uh, o Sharon Engel and Christine O'Donnell and Ken Buck, also people who had a strong social We're not saying that there agenda. was 100% win, but we are saying, look at those who did win, of those who won... Nearly 100%, well, a large majority of them, pro-life, pro-marriage. In fact, we have the largest number of pro-life members of Congress now than we've had since Roe versus Wade. So if, there were, if there were, there's an argument that there ought to be a truce on the social issues, then Go Proud needs to announce today that you will drop uh, advocating the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, and you'll drop advocating for same-sex marriage. Listen, you know, I'm pro-life. I actually spoke at a pro-life group yesterday. But it's a question of priorities, not policy positions. Well, what here. about, for example, and, as you said, don't ask, don't tell? Well, I think don't ask, don't tell is a military readiness issue, and, and we're actually going to deal with it in the lame duck uh, as part of defense authorization. I think that this new Congress needs to work on why they were elected. And, you know, our country's on the wrong track, and we're spending ourselves into oblivion, and, and we need to focus on that. Are you concerned, either of you, about what we have already seen very early on? Clearly, a lot of Tea Party conservatives came in with this election, and they're putting a lot of pressure on. They think they have a mandate. Is it going to cause problems within the Republican Party, enough problems that it could in some ways dilute their success? Well, I think I think the, the folks who were elected need to remember why they were elected, and that's to cut the spending, cut the taxes, and, and rein in the growth of federal government. And, and if they don't, then guess what? There's an election in two years, and they can get fired, too. And the fiscal and social issues do go together. When you look at the uh, uh, efforts like um, expand domestic partnership benefits. That's bigger government. That's more cost to businesses. It's more in, uh, increases to the taxpayers. So they do go together, and that's why you can't try and separate them. Social issues are moral issues. Fiscal issues are moral issues. All right, Wendy, Jimmy, thank you. Uh, a, a good summary of the debate that's going on right now within the Republican Party. Uh, speaking of Republicans, former President George W. 